this one group, no matter what other damage they had or didn't have, they always had damage of the orbital cortex right above the eyes. The other part of the brain that looked like it wasn't working right was this front part of the temporal lobe which houses the amygdala. And that is where your different animal drives are. The areas that looked abnormal were crucial for controlling impulsivity and emotions. This is about as dramatic as a difference can be in a PET scan. It really indicated that there was a biological basis, a really hardcore brain basis, for this urge to kill. The location of these abnormalities indicated to Jim why psychopaths could be driven towards extreme behavior. And then that brings the other question is, is that enough or are there other factors? What follows is a summary of the past decade or so of research pertaining to the genetics of racial differences in aberrant or delinquent violence. MAOA is an enzyme that deaminates, thereby inactivating biogenic amines like the neurotransmitters, norepinephrine and serotonin. The gene MAOA on the X chromosome encodes the MAOA enzyme. Variation in this gene has been associated with alcoholism, bipolar disorder, panic disorder, and obsessive compulsive disorder. A variable number of tandem repeats, VNTR, in the genetic promoter sequence determines the gene's activity. The two most common alleles of VNTR, are VNTR1, which stands for 3 promoter repeats or 3R, and VNTR3, which stands for 4 repeats or 4R. Brain monoamine and oxidase A activity predicts tray aggression. This study linked the amount of MAOA enzyme that the MAOA gene expresses to violent attitudes and mapped MAOA activity by brain region. The MPQ aggression scale measures attitudes, values, and beliefs that are consistent with approval of the use of physical violence. Longitudinal research shows that the MPQ aggression scale empirically predicts future conviction for violent crime such as physical assault. Here we report for the first time that the lower the MAOA activity in cortical and subcortical brain regions, the higher the self-reported aggression, contributing to more than one-third of the variability among a sample of 27 healthy men. Role of genotype in the cycle of violence in maltreated children. A study of 442 white males in New Zealand. For adult violent conviction, maltreated males with the low MAOA activity genotype were more likely than non-maltreated males with this genotype to be convicted of a violent crime by a significant odds ratio of 9.8. In contrast, among males with high MAOA activity, maltreatment did not confer significant risk for violent conviction. Low MAOA activity was defined as 3 repeats or 5 repeats. High MAOA activity was defined as 3.5 repeats or 4 repeats. Although individuals having the combination of low activity MAOA genotype and maltreatment were only 12% of the male birth cohort, they accounted for 44% of the cohort's violent convictions, yielding an attributable risk fraction, 11%, comparable to that of the major risk factors associated with cardiovascular disease. Moreover, 85% of cohort males having a low activity MAOA genotype who were severely maltreated develop some form of antisocial behavior. A functional polymorphism in the monoamine oxidase A gene promoter. This early study of 1448 subjects taken from three previous unrelated studies established that alleles with 3.5 or 4 copies of the repeat sequence are transcribed 2 to 10 times more efficiently than those with 3 or 5 copies, and found significant ethnic slash racial variations. In MAOA, UVNTR allele frequencies. Women have 2X chromosomes giving this study 2,156 total X chromosomes to analyze. The study made no mention of the existence of a two-repeat allele. Here are the allele frequencies by race slash ethnicity. 64.8% of alleles in non-Hispanic whites have four repeats. About 60% of alleles in Asians and blacks have three repeats. 
We've heard the stories on the news and in the papers, and they have killed people. Killer bees, also known as Africanized bees. The main difference between a traditional honeybee and an Africanized bee is the bee's aggressiveness. If I was to do this to an Africanized bee's hive, I could have several hundred stings in a matter of minutes. Danny Self raises the kinder, gentler European bees, and he's done the research. The only way that you can tell the two of them is doing measurements on the body parts. Quite frankly, the black community has become entertainment for the rest of, of uh, the community. The entertainment being uh, that the crime of the day, you know, if it bleeds, it leads, uh, gets to be the front story, and then that becomes the perception uh, in the image of an entire people, uh, which couldn't be further from the truth, in my opinion. The VNTR to repeat in MAOA and delinquent behavior in adolescents and young adulthood, associations, and MAOA promoter activity. A study of 2,524 people from the AdHealth subsample of the National Longitudinal Study of Adolescent Health. 11 of the men possess a 2R allele. 31 of the women possess one or two to our alleles. The study adjusted regression analysis for self-reported race and ethnicity. For men, the genetic variants on the single X chromosome are grouped into three categories, based on Sable and others, 2R, 3R or 5R, and 3.5R or 4R. The delinquency score for 2R tends to be twice as high as those in the other two genotype categories. The female participants were classified into three genotype categories. Any 2R, those with only 3R or 5R, and those with 3.5R or 4R. For women in Table 2, the 2R stands out being associated with much higher scores for both serious and violent delinquency at waves 2 and 3. In the functional analysis, the two repeat exhibited the lowest level of promoter activity, that is, 25 to 30 percent of the promoter activity exhibited by the four repeat. The level of promoter activity for the three repeat is located between the two and four repeats, although the promoter activity differs significantly between 3R and 4R, we did not find a significant difference in serious and violent delinquency between those possessing 3R and those possessing 4R. This result is not inconsistent with the findings reported by Caspi and others, who found a higher level of violent behavior for 3R and 5R than 4R and 3.5R only among men who were maltreated in childhood. Kim Cohen and others reported a main effect of 3R against 4R as well as an interaction effect in a sample of 7-year-old Caucasian boys born in England and Wales. The association of DNA sequence variation at the MAOA genetic locus with quantitative behavioral traits in normal males. This study of 421 adult men differed from most previous research, in that it studied unrelated volunteers without inclusion criteria such as with the populations of 125 smokers and 746 people with gay siblings included in the study by Sable and others. This study determined prevalences of three repeats of the VNTR promoter, four repeats, and the more rare alleles. 5 of the 37 African Americans, or 13.5%, possessed rare MAOA, VNTR alleles, compared to 6 of the 274 Caucasians, or 2.19%. And compared to 0 of both populations of 28 Asian Americans and 24 Hispanic Americans. The association between VNTR diversity and MAOA haplotype diversity corroborates this finding. Haplotypes are sets of single nucleotide polymorphisms that are statistically associated. The Fisher exact test for the association between the above noted VNTR alleles and the SNP haplotypes was strongly positive. Greater than 86% of the individuals in the Caucasian population carried one of the two most prevalent haplotypes. The haplotype diversity is quite low also for the Asian Americans. By contrast, the haplotype diversity for the African American population was much greater, and there were 7 intermediate frequency haplotypes and 6 rare haplotypes. This finding is consistent with the mostly out of Africa origin of modern humans and or the role of European African admixture in the origin of African American populations. You think of genes typically, you think of them controlling things like your height, 
your eye color, uh, maybe even your, your likelihood of developing heart disease or diabetes. But to the extent that genes might actually predict your psychological behavior is a fertile and fascinating area of research. The way that they did this was they actually followed 20,000 young men between uh, grades 7 through 12 for some time. They did interviews with them, they took their blood, they tried to figure out was there something that would emerge as a predictor of violent behavior. And in fact, there was. Uh, there were three genes, as you mentioned, call them violence genes. They, they sort of predict that about 1% of the population has these genes. MAOA in the cycle of violence, childhood abuse and neglect, MAOA genotype, and risk for violent and antisocial behavior. This is another prospective cohort study that included 278 males, 98 of whom were non-white. Using self-reports by study participants to determine race slash ethnicity, the non-white group includes African Americans, Hispanics, American Indians, Pacific Islanders, and others. Notice that Asian Americans were not listed. Six of the 98 non-white males had the two repeat VNTR allele, 6%, compared to one of the 180 white males, 0.6%, 10 of the 143 non-white females, 7%, possessed a two repeat allele on one of their X chromosomes, compared to five of the 196 white females, 2.6%. None of the non-white males or females had the rare 5 repeat VNTR allele, compared to one of the white males and four of the white females. None of the non-white males and only one of the non-white females possessed a rare 3.5 repeat VNTR allele, compared to two of the white males and ten of the white females. These two studies, Rosenberg and others, and Widom and Brzostowicz, taken together suggest that African American men have a significantly higher prevalence of the violence associated to repeat VNTR allele of MAOA, unlike white men and Asian American men. One can further deduce from this, that African men would have even greater prevalence of the two repeat allele than African American men, who have some European African admixture. A non-additive interaction of a functional MAOA, VNTR and testosterone predicts antisocial behavior. This is a case control study of 165 Finnish men. Low activity MAOA genotypes were defined as having 3 or 5 repeats, and high activity meant having 3.5 or 4 repeats. Higher levels of testosterone were associated with increased Brown Goodwin lifetime aggression scale scores among individuals with the low activity MAOA genotype, but not among individuals with the genotype conferring higher levels of MAOA transcription. MAOA degrades norepinephrine to 3 methoxy 4 hydroxyphenylglycol, or MHPG. So, if testosterone lowers MAOA function, Higher testosterone levels will decrease cerebral spinal fluid MHPG levels. Higher levels of testosterone were associated with decreased cerebral spinal fluid MHPG among individuals with the reduction of function MAOA genotype, but not among individuals with the genotype conferring higher levels of MAOA transcription. The MAOA promoter contains three glucocorticoid androgen response elements and four binding sites for the SP1 and R1 transcription factors. Androgens have recently been shown to interact directly with the third glucocorticoid androgen response elements, and it also appears to act indirectly with SP1. Although androgens activated MAOA transcription, this effect was not as strong as that of glucocorticoids. Since glucocorticoids and testosterone compete for the same sites this may actually mean that high testosterone levels may lead to lower transcription of MAOA and lower MAOA levels. Many studies show hormonal differences between blacks, whites, and Asians. Most research shows that blacks have higher testosterone levels than whites, but not all of the studies could achieve statistical significance. Nevertheless, even if whites and blacks have comparable testosterone levels, blacks will tend to be more violent due to their higher prevalence of the 3 repeat allele. Since sea stations have a 3 repeat allele frequency that is comparable to blacks, other explanations are needed to explain their lower violence rates, 